What's up guys? This is a fresh React Native application I have in front of me and I'm going to be showing you how to add a flat list to it. Now this is a new component in React Native that is supposed to be a more performant list. And you should pretty much be using this all the time over lists. There's no reason to reuse the list anymore. So I'll show you how to add this. I'm starting from a scratch. Uh, React Native application, so I'm going to walk you through the whole process of adding it. So here's my project. It is um, just has the default when you do React Native init from the command line, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on showing you how to do this stuff. Now I'm just going to be working on the iOS one, but it's good practice to actually create a source folder and then create an index file and then have your index.ios and your index.android point to this. So I'm just going to copy and paste into index here. And then in my index.ios, what I'm going to do is get rid, of this, oops, get rid of this comment, get rid of this component, get rid of app registry, and then we're actually going to import app from source. And then we can go all the way down here. And now we're going to have just our app here. So now instead of having our code for our uh, project and in index iOS and Android, we're just going to point to this app, which is in source here. And we're going to do the same thing for Android. And we'll just copy this. So now any changes we make on iOS will be reflected in Android and vice versa. So now we're going to make all our changes in index here. I'm going to put the wrong way. Cut off the comment at the top. Um, get rid of app registry, and I'm going to call this guy app. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this view here, this container view. Um, I'm going to get rid of the rest of the stuff we have here and get rid of this app registry at the bottom. So I'll re render this, and let's go ahead and just do a hello and make sure everything is good. So text, and if I come over here, we should see hello. Rebuilding, and also we see hello. So now we're ready to start with our flat list. So I'm going to go ahead and import flat list from React Native. And we're going to give it two props. Data, actually three props, but the two important ones, which is data. So this is whatever you want. This is going to be an array of objects and whatever you want your data to be. I'm just going to say name Bob and name Tim. And then I'm also going, oops, I'm also going to add an extract key extractor. Um, what this does is it is, and we have passed in a function that takes in uh, two arguments, X and I. X is going to be this uh, object as it iterates through the list, and I is going to be the index, and we just return a unique key. Now, if X had an ID, we could do X.ID here, but I'm just going to use the index of I, or use the index for the unique key. If not, you'll get a warning about it. And then we're going to do render item. Now, this is the function. This is going to be a function as well, um, and this is what you want your actual each item in this list to be rendered out to be. So we're actually pass an object with an item property and then we actually each item is going to match up to an object so I just want to do text and do item dot name. And then we can close our text tag and close our flat list. All right. So now our flat list has some data, uh, what we, how we want to render each data item, and then a unique key for each data item. So now we should see this guy rendered. And bam, we see Tim, we see Bob above. I can add some margin top to the style here, say 15, and I come back, and we should see Bob and Tim displayed better. And we do. So that's cool, we have a list here but most often times, you're not just going to have data like this. You're going to be fetching it from an API or something. So what I'm going to show you next is how to actually like fill this flat list with a API call. 
and the API I'm going to be using is random user. This is an API that just gives you, like it suggests, random users. So this is a URL here. You don't need an API key, so if you want to come and follow along, you can easily. Um, and I'm asking for 10 users back, and they have the name field, which we're going to use to get the first name, last name, and show that. And you can change this if you want to get more users. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL and come back to the code. So now instead of keeping the data here, I'm going to keep the data in state. And initially the data is just going to be an empty array. So I can just go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. And we're going to say this.state.data. So any anything we add to the state the data state is going to be reflected in our flat list. What we can do now is we can say component will mount. Now this function is called whenever our component is mounted and then we can actually fetch data here. So I'm going to create a function called fetch data and I'm going to make this an async function. That way we can use uh, JavaScript's async await syntax. Um, this is very nice for doing asynchronous um, work. So I'm going to use the uh, fetch command and then pass in the URL. And so I'm going to say const uh, response is equal to await fetch. So just like how you saw in the browser over here, when I go to this URL, I see this JSON data. If I call fetch, we're in, in this response, we're going to get a response of that. Now I can say const JSON is equal to await response.json. And now we're going to have the JSON you saw in my Chrome browser in this object right here. So what we want to do is actually update our data here um, for our state. And so if you come back and we look at our JSON data here, you'll notice how it's the results objects. And inside our result object, what we really care about is the name first and last. So results is what we want to store in our state. So I'm going to say this dot set state. And I'm going to say data is equal to json.results. And then down here, we're not going to say item.name anymore. We're going to say item.name.first. And then I'm going to actually just put this inside of a string and I'm going to say first name space item dot name dot last. So that'll give us the first name and last name of the user and display that. So all right, so let's refresh and see this guy and see if we render the names. And awesome, so you guys can see we are rendering 10 names here that we're getting from the API. So let's just recap what our code is doing. Um, so we have a flat list here that is getting its data from the state, um, rendering each data item by saying first name, space, last name, and we're doing a string template here. So that this back ticks is, and we're putting these variables in here. Um, we're getting this data from this uh, API here, the random user API. Um, we're using an async function here, that way we can use this await, which makes both of these synchronous. So when I call fetch, I actually get the response back, and then I can call a .json to get the JSON data. And then we're putting this JSON data that we get from our API back into our state, which then renders it. And then we're calling fetch data to actually fetch this guy, um, and component will mount. So this is being called once when the component is mounted. So that is it for fetching data, feeding into Flatlist. I kind of wanted to show you guys um, adding some more you know, data into this, how it affects the load time. So you can see 100 is pretty instant. I can scroll down, I can scroll, oops, I can scroll through this and it's very smooth, not lagging at all. But I mean, we're only displaying text, right, and only 100. If I come back over here, if I go to 500, uh, there's a little bit of a lag, you'll notice. So see how it's blank right here? Um, it'll come and load in a second here, I believe. Yep, and it loads in. But again, no lag when scrolling. But you can see 500 is a little slow to initially load all of these renders. And so what I'm going to be showing you in the next two videos, um, the first one is how to style this. So you can see this is quite an ugly flat list. So I'm going to show you how you can make it look pretty um, and a real list 
view with pictures and stuff. Um, and then second, after that, I want to show you guys how to basically lazy load data. That way this we actually can show 500, but it's not this initial slow load. And we just load them as they're scrolling. And this is how Twitter and uh, Facebook and all feeds you see work. So I'll show you how that um, works as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. The code will be up on GitHub. And I'll see you guys in the next video.